I don't want to talk about it. Tough. I'm your big sister, so spill. Well, he was hot. Like, super hot. And the party? The party was outrageous. But then these guys came, and I felt like I was losing him. Then I made a move. Clarissa, sweetheart, he's so dirty. Why would you do that to yourself? I don't know. I didn't want him to get bored with me. Get bored? That's the stupidest reason I've ever heard in my life. You lost your virginity because you thought he would get bored with you. Yeah, and? So how was it? It was okay. Well, I hope it was amazing. God knows he's had enough experience. He was really sweet. He called me a good woman. Did it make your heart putter? Was it everything you expected it to be? And more. Well, if you don't have any regrets. You know, Clarissa, you don't have to do everything Sarah tells you to do. People will like you for being yourself. Oh, God, Tal. That's so after school special. Grow up. It's Sarah. I have to get this. No, you don't. Hello? Hey. Yes. Oh, my God, I did it. Hey, Sean. It's Allison. I got your number from Larry, and I was calling because I was hoping that we could talk. I was thinking about what you said last night, and... Anyway, I'll be at our spot for a little while, and hopefully if I see you, then I'll see you, so... All right, bye. I, I left some clothes in the dryer. I just came by to pick them up. Have you been laying there all night? Have you had a shower today? Have you had anything to eat? This is ridiculous. You know, I'm gonna come back later to get the rest of my stuff. This is just too pathetic. Hey, wait. So, I have a day tonight, I think. You think? Well, I kind of said no, but he was just so persistent. <laughs> Sounds like true love. He just wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Sounds like you're tight. He's kind of cute. I thought you were so in love. Things didn't work out, so I moved on. You're unbelievable. How can you even pretend to love somebody when you move on over a cup of coffee? I did love Sean. Yeah, and if it's not Sean, it's Billy or Adam or Sam. It's always someone, Lauren. It's always over like that. Oh, and who have you ever loved? So much you blah, blah, blah. Please, you never give anyone the time of day. I mean, the only person you ever talk to is that bitter dyke. And... Oh. Yeah, so... Turns out, I'm gay. You know I'm not, right? Yeah, of course I know. Your innate love of all things cock-related is a dead giveaway. I'm sorry. Don't worry. My infatuation with you has passed. What happened to you, Lauren? You used to want more than this, hopping into bed with the next cute guy that bats you and I. Now you're a side note. 
a joke in those lives you so desperately want to be a part of. You used to be worth fighting for. You used to be worth loving. And I did love you. Deeply and with everything I had, but I can't anymore. Even I, who have always looked at you through rose-colored glasses, has seen the light and written you off as a lost cause. Lauren won't change. She can't change. I gotta go. I have class. Wait, maybe I'll see you around. Hey. Hey. Saw your sister at Justin's party the other day. She was whoring it up. Did you do anything about it? Not my style. Look, Blair, I think it's time we break up. Why don't you come in and we'll talk about it? You know, People think you're gross, Lair. And I've got problems, too. Like what? When was the last time you felt? I always feel... I feel hungry, thirsty, sometimes sleepy. And numb? You feel numb, right? Well, that's not really a feeling. It's like an unfeeling. Do you feel anything for me, Lair? I do. Do something. Make a gesture. Do something that'll make me stick. No. This is me. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Lair.